Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. And in this video, we're going to use Auto Rig Pro Quick Rig, which is an add on for an add on in Blender. Now, what this is going to do is going to make the character go from this to this in a few clicks. Now, there still are a few little bugs with it. However, it's getting there and it'll be magical once it's working 100%. But for now, mm. <laughs> let's jump into it and let's check it out. So as we said in the intro, we're just going to rig this character quickly by using its current weights and its current bone structure and using that data to kind of apply a rig. Now this character is from Character Creator 3. So there he goes in all his wonderful glory. If you don't want to be creating characters, get Character Creator 3. I use it to the oblivion. I do have an affiliate link for it. So if you can, please use the link in the description as it really helps me out. So first thing I'm going to do is enable Auto Rig Pro Quick Rig. Now it's important as well. Like I said before, you need to have Auto Rig Pro installed first as well. So edit preferences. Now I've already got Auto Rig installed. However, if you need to install it, let me just go to my downloads. Date modified. Here we can see this is the Auto Rig Pro download. You do not install this one. You actually need to unzip the file, go into add ons, and install these three add ons first. With the Auto Rig Pro Quick Rig, just double click, put a tick, wham bam, thank you, ma'am. We're done. Let's press N to bring up the side panel, Auto Rig Pro down here. Let's select our rig, and I'm going to come over here into object data, and in the viewport display, we're going to tick in front so we can see everything. From here, we're going to go into pose mode. And if you're gonna be using the same character, for instance, from Character Creator 3 or from another package, once you've created it, you can always export it and we can always go import. Let's find our file, import bones, and it doesn't work. So the import and export function isn't working properly at the moment, but I know that that's gonna be updated very soon. So for now, we're gonna to have to manually do it. However, it is super quick. So first things first, we select our bone. Now I can see up here, I've actually selected the wrong bone. I've selected thigh twist zero one. We want thigh. From here, we're gonna press the plus button, leg, okay. And we can see we've got our list of bones. Now, if we kind of zoom in here, now with the twist, I normally select the second bone and I can use the eyedropper. We can use the calf now. So this is calf twist. I'm looking up here and we want, that's the knee bone. That's the calf twist. That's the knee bone. There's the calf eyedropper. And then here we go, number two, calf twist. Let's select our foot. And then I'm just gonna select our toes. Let's click the up here on the right leg now. Let's find our th right thigh plus leg, okay. Once again, thigh twist. Let's get our calf. There's our calf. There's our twist. There's our foot. There's our toes. From here, I'm going to select the pelvis. So not the root bone, which is all the way back here or the hip bone. I'm actually gonna select the pelvis. And then from here, we're gonna press plus sign again. Let's go spine, okay. And then we're gonna kind of go up the chain. And then we've got spine one, which is now spine two. Spine two is now spine three. And we leave it at that. Next, we select the clavicle, plus sign, arm, okay. And this all looks fine. I'm just gonna extend it out. Upper arm twist one. I will change that to twist two. I think it's really however you wanna do it. But then everything else is set up correctly as well. Let's now do the other arm quickly as well. Plus sign, okay. And we'll do once again, upper arm twist, uh, forearm twist. There we go. And now we select our base neck. Let's press the plus sign, head, okay. And then we can see neck one twist, neck two twist, and head. If you've watched our other tutorials, the head bone's actually this little tiny bone right behind the facial bone. And from here, what you can do is obviously click export and try and save. However, like I said before, that feature's not actually working. From here, let's just hit quick rig. And I normally tick on preserve volume and we'll go neck twist. Oh my goodness. Neck twist. And we click okay. And very quickly, we've rigged the character. However, for those of you who are like-minded, who can see the problem already, our kneecaps are behind. So if I were to select this, we can see that it's bending the wrong way. Now this is because we're in FK, I think. Yes, in FK, we can control the arm and it's fine. You know, we can pose it however we want. However, if I just go Alt R to reset the rotation, Alt G to reset the location, whoops. Alt R on the, that one there. If we were to come up into tools and switch IK to FK, we go to IK. You can see now the elbow is over here. So that's just kind of like some of the issues. However, we can fix this, but the problem is, is once we fix it, we can't switch 
between IK and FK. So that's probably just something to keep in mind because it'll just butcher itself. So for starters, I'm going to select both of these and go G, Y, and we're gonna get this ugly twist. However, now if I press Control A to apply the pose, the legs are fine now. So now if I were to select a foot, we can see that it moves correctly. What? <laughs> Alt G, Alt R to reset the rotation. From here, we got to do the same. So I'm going to select this one. Sorry, let's come and select the other arm first. IK to FK switch. Let's grab these two. Let's go G. And I'm going to kind of line it up so this piece here is straight. It's a little bit lower. Let's press one, numpad one to go into front view, wireframe. And then I'm gonna kind of try and just line it up like so. And we'll do it here as well, line it up like so. Let's select everything, Control A, apply pose as reset pose. And there we go. So now we've got the FK going on the legs and the arms, which is awesome. But like I said before, if I were to switch back to FK, it's not gonna work. So I think the problem here is with bone orientation. However, soon, hopefully that'll be fixed up. So if this was a helpful video or if you wanna pick up Auto Rig Pro Quick Rig, there is a link in the description. It really supports the channel if you can use those links. If you haven't already as well, make sure you hit subscribe as I'm trying to hit that 100,000 mark before the end of 2021.